In this video, I'm going to look at how to name carboxylic acids. So we've got three on the board. Have a go at naming them. And just a reminder, the suffix, or the ending for the carboxylic acids is oic acid. So their name will end oic acid. Nice easy one to start with. Continuous carbon chain is one, two, three, four long. So this is called butanoic acid. The next one we've got chlorine substituted somewhere in the chain. So let's just consider the longest chain first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is going to be a heptanoic acid. The functional group fixes carbon number one. So we're going to count this way. Two, three, four. So this will be 4-chloroheptanoic acid. The third one, let's just check where the longest chain is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this continuous carbon chain is the longest one. It's eight long, so this will be octanoic acid. Carbon number one, two, three, four. So we're looking at this branch here, this alkyl branch. So what is this? How long is this? It's one, two, three carbons long. So this is a propyl group on carbon number four of octanoic acid. So it's 4-propyl octanoic acid. And there's two slightly more difficult ones for you to try now. So the first one, we've got two functional groups going on. We've got the alcohol or hydroxy functional group here. And we've got the carboxylic acid functional group here. So we need to look at the rules to see what takes priority. And you can see carboxylic acids is right at the top. So we're going to use the suffix for that. So the end of this molecule, the name will end in oic acid. And then we'll class the OH as a hydroxy group. So we're going to be using the prefix for the alcohol group. So longest continuous chain, one, two, three, four, five. So this will be some form of pentanoic acid. That's carbon number one, two, three, four. So this would be 4-hydroxy pentanoic acid. The last one, we've got two carboxylic acid groups at either end of the molecule. So when you have this situation, this is what we call a dioic acid. So di just means two. So two carboxylic acid groups, dioic. So how many carbons are in the main chain? One, two, three, four, five. So this would be called pentane dioic acid.